Welcome to Iris Illustrated at irisillustrated.com. I'm Kevin St. Clair, and this week, uh, a whole long list of prospects will be visiting Notre Dame, mostly 2024 recruits uh, on July 26 for a sort of barbecue cookout uh, type situation, just like we saw this time last year. Um, among that list of 2024 recruits are um, several athletes we've done lots of reporting on, are very popular, you know, priority recruits. Um, and then below that, there's a lot of prospects, uh, many who haven't visited Notre Dame yet, some are who are a little lesser known to Notre Dame fans. Um, I thought I would uh, break down those recruits because they're important all the same. Um, so first, we're going to have a quick look at some of those priority recruits we've already done quite a bit of reporting on. And then I'm going to move on to some who are a little bit lesser known, who Irish fans need to know. Let's dive in. It starts with Justin Scott, a six foot five, three hundred and ten pound defensive tackle out of Chicago. Notre Dame could really use that body type uh, up in the middle. And then Caleb Beasley. This is one of the better cover corners in the twenty twenty four class, and he camped at Notre Dame last month, so good to get him back on campus. Anthony Specka, really long time prospect here. Uh, Notre Dame been recruiting him for a very long time. Former teammate of Donovan Heinish, and then another athlete out of Pennsylvania, Peter Jones. Um, you know, this is a run of the mill four star tackle. Um, you know, really a, a large, uh, large and in charge tackle. And then Emmett Mosley, whose uh, father played at Notre Dame, good athlete out of California. But moving on to the uh, recruits who might be a little bit lesser known to Notre Dame fans right now, uh, Tysir Denmark. This is a, a really intriguing uh, wide receiver uh, prospect out of Pennsylvania. Very quick and twitchy. Um, really good release off the line and then really good at just flat out creating separation. So I see a little bit of a combination of kind of 2023 receivers, Rodney Gallagher um, and Christian Hamilton, a couple of receivers Notre Dame recruited where, you know, very, very slippery as stop on a dime uh, agility, as you just saw right there. Um, this is a guy who can run circles around defenders uh, in his league at times. And But again, it's that sort of release off the line. And then just his uh, his quickness in creating separation. And then what I also notice is outstanding ball skills. And you'll see that here, leaping up, high-pointing that ball between two defenders. And then the quickness to just put that into the end zone. And we'll see that again here. Um, here he is gaining a little separation. And then an outstanding one-handed grab along the sideline. Have a closer look at that there. Um, really good skill from this wide receiver. Likely a could be, play some slot and note on the perimeter. He is quick and agile enough to create separation out wide, um, but real good in the slot too. And now speaking of slot receivers, Jason Robinson, this is a USC commit. This is a pure slot receiver. And man, is he a lot of fun to watch. Um, outstanding feet, uh, very, very quick, nimble, really, really good uh, route runner as a small, you know, 5'9", shifty slot receiver. Notre Dame doesn't, hasn't really landed a lot of these types of guys outside of maybe a Lawrence Keyes type in the past, but um, this is a kid kind of in that Rodney Gallagher mode um, who can do a lot. He can split out wide. He's got the speed and the route running skills um, to beat you out wide. And then in the slot, really good at those routes over the middle and crossing routes, the gritty routes. But Fantastic uh, prospect here. Really just enjoy watching this kid. He's an exciting football player. You can see really good focus on the football and ball skills there. And then Aaron Scott. This is a cornerback out of Ohio, former quarterback and basketball player who has found his niche very recently at cornerback. So very new to the position. His contested uh, ball situations here are really outstanding. He has very long arms, long limbs. So he's got this length that really gives him an advantage uh, in coverage, especially in those contested situations. We're going to see a little bit of that again here. Does a very good job uh, kind of having a natural feel how to close in these situations um, and knock those balls uh, loose. Again, those long arms, that long reach uh, gives him an advantage that way. Uh, but he does a nice job. Uh, whether it's in the slot or out wide, um, press or off coverage, really nice work from uh, Aaron Scott. He's aggressive. Again, you just see it there, that contested uh, contested situations. And he can come down and hit, as you see there. Um, and then Aeneas Williams. This is a running back, almost a bit of an all-purpose back, really. Camped at Notre Dame, picked up an offer last month. Um, this kid is a home run hitter when he finds a crease. As you can see, his pure speed here really separating from the pack. Um, but he also has really good skills as a receiver out of the backfield, out of the slot, out wide. 
Um, he's an asset that way. Had almost 3,000 all-purpose yards as only a sophomore this last season. This is a play where he ran vertically out of the slot, put the ball in the end zone. A lot of sort of jet sweep action from him in his offense. Um, really good cutting ability, um, resourceful, creative in how he uh, jukes defenders and, and just makes plays upfield. Um, see another sort of jet sweep here. I like his lateral ability to bend the edge, juke defenders in the open field. That was a fantastic play on his part there. And that wraps it up. So, you know, some really exciting players there. You know, Aeneas Williams, really exciting running back who's picked up offers pretty much everywhere he went and camped this summer. So really good camp circuit there. His stock is rising. And then I really like those receivers, you know, in uh, Tysir, Denmark, Jason Robinson. Those are the type of fast, twitchy, um, you know, separating receivers, um, slot receivers that a lot of Notre Dame fans would love to see at Notre Dame. Again, haven't picked up kind of that profile of recruit in a while, missing on Rodney Gallagher, um, you know, types uh, consistently. So it'd be interesting to see if Notre Dame can land that type of uh, slot receiver here in the 2024 class. But that's it for me. Thanks for tuning in and stay tuned to Irish Illustrated on all our coverage and all of these prospects. My feature story coming on Tysir Denmark after speaking with his head coach. That's it for me. I'm Kevin Sinclair.